What's going on guys? Got a very special opening today. Was able to actually secure some Shining Fates tins. Really excited. Um, probably won't do a lot of Shining Fates openings because it's going to be expensive and hard to find. I was able to find these at a Locals. They were, you know, relatively overpriced, but was able to get them for a fairly good deal, especially since this is the best way to get the packs. Um, per, the value per pack is a lot better in terms of the cost in the tins versus the pin boxes. There's only three packs per pin box. There's six packs per tin. The tins are, you know, less than, I think they're less than double what the pin boxes are, especially if you buy them secondhand. Obviously, if you buy them retail, it's a little bit different, but... Really excited, hoping to pull some good stuff. I loved Hidden Fates. It's one of the sets that really helped me get back into collecting Pokemon. So, without further ado, I'm going to open the Bolton tin first. See if we can get anything nice out of here. I haven't actually looked at the set list. Um, obviously, there's trainer cards in here that I want. Some of y'all know I have that art trainer collection but with the recent rise in the cost for those we'll see if i'll ever be able to complete that but uh, six pack obviously shining charizard would be you know great to have but i know the pull rate for that is pretty high just getting our little promo out here get the tin out of the way I'll probably just open both these boxes, actually. Uh, not seeing any defects right away. Edges look okay. Mm, it has some edge wear. More noticeable on the back, but not much. You can tell it's been sitting in the tin though, so that's not great, but it'll still be okay. Obviously, promo, y'all know promos are really hard to get in good condition, so people will get what they can get. Probably be listed as near mint on TCG Player. But crack open number two. Make sure these guys get out of the way. I'm assuming Eldegoss is not still a competitive card, but I could be wrong. It came out, you know, however many months ago in Sword and Shield base. At that time, it was, you know, almost a $20, $30 card, but I can't imagine it's still competitive, but who knows? I could be dead wrong. Get our packs out. Hoping for some amazing rares because those cards are sweet. And obviously, any cards that I need for my raw collection would be awesome. Let's take a look at this guy. Right off the bat, centering looks pretty good. Corners look good. Hollow looks good. Actually, the edges look pretty good. Not too bad. Yeah, same with this one. You can tell where the uh, where it was sitting in in there. But it actually looks better in terms of condition than the Bolton. But, and not my whole lot. And then, these guys in the back. I'm not going to tell you how much I bought these for, but the price hype, oops, the price hype on these things is crazy, so I can't afford to keep trying to go around and buy these things. Alright, we'll kind of alternate sides, but we'll start with Toxtricity. That was one of my 
first Pokemon in Sword and Shield that I really love. So I break him open first. I'm not even gonna try and guess what the uh, if the card code thing is still green versus white, etc. So right off the bat, we got coughing as a dark type with a new. They changed how the energy looks. I just noticed that. Gossifleur, Rallet, love that Pokemon. Q Fant. Spinarak is a dark type, interesting. Cromorant is reverse uncommon. And Professor's Research is the rare. So I guess you're not guaranteed. It's not quite like Hidden Fates where you're guaranteed a hollow in every pack. How interesting for a non-booster set. Oh, I said it me. Usually non-booster sets do a guaranteed a hollow or something in each pack. Um, clearly they've gone away from that based off that last pack. It's a good looking horsey. Yeah, Horsey, Yanma, more Pico, that's a good picture. Coughing, Gossifleur, ooh, reverse more Pico, nice. And an uncommon Yanmega, or a rare Yanmega, excuse me. So, first two packs, no foils. No full arts. Pack number three. Yeah, it looks like they changed the uh, all the, all the code cards have been white so far. We got Cacnea, Q Fant, Eevee, swimming in the ocean, nice. Weasel, Yanda. Another reverse Cromorant and a Manaphy rare. Rusted Sword. Yeah, it looks like they changed it because before, y'all know, you know, white code card means foil. TCG Go instead of Redeem means foil. But they all say TCG Go and they're all white and there hasn't been a foil. So it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Not a very centered pack. So hopefully there's nothing crazy in here. Um, coughing. Cute Trap Inch. Rowlet. Choodle. More Pico. So there's two different more Pico artworks than at least. Ooh, Willaboom. Reverse. That's going to be reverse rare, yep. And a hollow Decidui. I love missing Decidui. What a badass Pokemon. It's interesting if y'all watch the uh, trailers for the new games. It's interesting what they chose as the starters for Arceus, Legends Arceus. But obviously, you know that's subject to change. So, yeah, first foil, nothing crazy. No full art, no shiny, no amazing rare. Getting a lot of the same uncommons. Um, but that doesn't mean anything. We've got Horsey. Another Rallet. Another More Pico. Another Spinarak. A Snom. There we go. Shiny Hatterini. Very nice. And that's it. Very nice. First. Shiny Vault card is the Shiny Hatterene. Put her in between our promos. And then we got the new boss's orders. Water Energy. Rotom. Just hit the halfway mark on the packs, hit our first shiny card. No full arts, 
no amazing rare, one shiny. I think we hit a full I can just barely see it sticking out. We got coughing. Yep, there it is. Trap inch. Rallet. I'm gonna move it to the back. I think it's a gold card. Um, but I could be wrong. Dark energy. Eldegoss. Uncommon version of that card. Dartrix. Alexio. Choodle. More Pico, and it is a gold card, Eternatus VMAX, very nice. I guess that can go in the reverse spot, and a Poke Kid, nice, so a double dinger, very cool. A black and gold and a full art to go with, that's pretty sweet. It's pretty well centered. It might be, I can't tell if that's a sleeve or not. Edges look good, corners look great, foil looks good. That might be a solid card there. Let's see that Poker Kid too. That's gonna go in the binder, so I'll give that an actual sleeve. I'm gonna have to update my spreadsheet for the full art trainers. But this guy was the the big winner so far. Eternatus VMAX. Black and gold. Very nice pull. Move these to the front. Put him right there. I'll probably go in my next submission. Exactly at the halfway point. Get these guys out of the way. Next pass. That is, I guess, would be considered a god pack before with a, another uh, shiny vault card, I think. Yeah. It's probably a shiny vault and secret rare, is it not? One, two, one, uh, 122 out of 122. So, the last card in the shiny vault official set. Snom, Trap Bench, Nicket, nice difference there. Weasel, Shanks, that's a cool looking Shank actually. A Reverse Eevee, and Volcanion. Being a water type instead of fire. Or an Atlanta water fire, you know, like he is. Like in Steam Siege when they did that whole dual typing deal. Next up, we got another sign. The snobs just keep coming. So many of them. Snob, Trap Inch, Nicket, Weasel, Shanks, Shiny Greedent. Yeah, there's another card. There's a Gigamax behind that, so we're going to go down. We got Lightning Energy, Rotom, Cromorant, Rusted Shield, Shiny Greeting again, and... Ooh, more Pico VMAX. Very nice. It's a good looking card. Loving the uh, clouds over his head. Those are cool. They actually look really well done. Even compared to the earlier sets from Sword and Shield. Looks pretty, pretty good. Good corners, no edge wear, no scratches. Overall, I will be I will be the first one to admit. Overall, this set has been very good in terms of the quality from what I've seen so far, minus that one pack. But if it's one out of twelve, that's pretty good. Make room for the new guys on the block. Get this Greedon up there. Personally, Greedon is moving up the list of most annoying Pokemon to me. With the likes of, you know, Watchog and Zigzagoon. Alright, four more packs. Can we get some more shinies? After starting off really cold at the beginning.
we got Gossifler. Snow. Wave's not great. There we go. Snow. Coffee. Cacnea. Gossifler. Coffee. Manaphy. So, nothing in that pack. Third glass pack. We've got Rowlet, Eevee, Morpico, Weasel, Oop, something in there. And there goes one. Q fan. And Zarud. This is our rude sandstorm, baby. Let's see when that movie comes out so we can get that mystery gift Pokemon. Alright, two more packs. Can we get Charizard from the Charizard pack? That would be crazy. Couldn't tell you the last time I played Charizard. Probably X and Y. Evolutions, excuse me. Um, there is something in here. So we're going to do this. We got Leaf Energy, Luxio, Thwacky, Ball Guy, Gossifler, Rowlet, Q Fant, Spinarak, Snom, we got the reverse next, Shiny Clavopus, very nice, and Crobat V Max, very cool. I love those eyes. Those are those shade eyes. Who's throwing shade? Very good looking card. Clavopus, very cute. Leave those down there. And then last but not least. Not a single amazing rare, which is kind of hard to believe. I thought they would be more common. Lightning Energy, Lexio, Rusted Sword, Ball Guy, Grookey, Weasel, Yonder, Trapage, Shinx, Rowlet, and Yonmega. So, no amazing rares. It's pretty crazy. Did get two VMAXs, three Shinies, one Full Art Trainer, and one Black and Gold Eternatus VMAX. So not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, depending on how I'm feeling, that may change my mind. You never know. I don't take anything for certain. But as of right now, probably not going to open any more of this. So, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you all tune in for the next content. Sign off.